Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing another circuits problem. It looks something like this. And we're going to be trying to find the voltage across that open circuit there. And then we'll see if we can find the current across, um, if we short circuit that A and B section, and find the current through that area, and also find the equivalent resistance. So let's take a look at the problem here. So, first one said find the voltage drop across A and B, pretty much that open circuit. So I'm going to label that VOC here. So how do we find that? Well, um, we know that um, a battery in parallel with a uh, open circuit will have the same um, voltage. However, we also have to account for the voltage coming from this uh, two ohm resistor and with the two amps of current flowing through it right here. So um, on the top there, uh, so that's why we get since V is equal to IR, we got the current source at the top, I, times R, the two ohms um, at the top there to get uh, the voltage across, or voltage for the open circuit. So that's how we find VOC. Next, to find the short circuit, the current through the short circuit. So you draw the same thing, except now you have a short circuit rather than an open circuit, and you're trying to find the current through that. So... All you got to do, keep in mind of that 2 ohm resistor again, it's going to come up again. So, all you do is take the two currents that's coming in, right? And then the 5 volts divided by the 2 ohm resistor there, because V is e I is equal to V over R, the 5 volts over the 2 ohms resistor, um, to get the current flowing through it, since it is in parallel, uh, we get the 2 amps already coming, because the current would have to go there um, when it splits uh, from the current source. So we get that to be 4.5 amps. And finally, to find the equivalent resistance, what you have to do is deactivate your sources. So just cross them out. Um, but how they would actually look, I'll show in a little bit, but I need to explain uh, what, what's going to happen here when finding the equivalent resistance. So that's where to show where we're going to find the equivalent resistance. But check this out. Watch this path. Where does the current flow? flows on the path of least resistance. So it would flow this way. It would go through the two ohms and it would go down because that 5 volt battery is now a wire. And it would go through there and it wouldn't even go through the 4 ohms because that 2 current, our 2 amp current source wouldn't even be there. When you deactivate it, it's completely gone. But the, when you deactivate a battery, a wire is what's left over. So that means we only went through the 2 ohm resistor. So look what happened. This, oops, this part is completely gone, right? We got that 4 ohm resistor there, but it doesn't really matter, right? Current is going to flow this way. It'll go through that 2 ohms. Oh, I erased it. 2 ohms, right? And it wouldn't want to go this way, right? Because that has 6 ohms. Uh, no, I'm going all the way around. I don't want to go in any resistors. And then come out this way. Oh, look, there's a resistor there. Nope, I'm going this way. So you follow the path of least resistance, right? And again, to reemphasize so you can see it better, this is, a, is just a perfect wire when you get rid of the battery. So the current flows in this direction, and that's how we got 2 ohms. So uh, that's the problem there for you. It looks like we figured it all out. So good luck and happy studying.